Good day, my name is Curtis Thompson. I'm working with LA County Department of Public Works Smart Gardening Program, and today we're here to talk about composting. The goal of the program is to reduce the amount of garbage going into the landfill, clean up chem old chemicals in the soil, reduce water use, and conserve resources. This is all a part of LA County Smart Gardening and Recycling programs. Uh, we're showing people today that by doing these programs, you're able to conserve all kinds of materials and moisture. You're able to feed your yard and not the landfill, reduce the waste going into the disposal, uh, get natural resources, save time and money, improve soil structure, reduce water use, and by doing this you make your yard and garden healthier. Composting is a natural process. You use a compost bin like the one that we have over here, and in so doing you add your brown materials and your green materials. Green materials would be things like grass and leaves, food scraps, even animal manure from animals that eat grass. The brown material would be things like paper, woody waste, sawdust, uh, also dried leaves and grasses. All these materials can be added into the compost bin, stirred and mixed up, add water to it, and about once a week you add new materials to it and keep the bin going as, as best you can. Now inside the compost bin, in order for it to work, you're going to see that the bacteria will become very active. And the way you can tell that they become very active is you add a compost thermometer to see how much temperature is being generated. The hotter the compost bin gets, the better the material is that comes out of it. Now, in adding water to the compost bin, this helps the bacteria grow, multiply, and keeps them alive. The green material is feeding them the nitrogen and moisture out of it, and the brown material is a source of carbon and the bacteria that is used in composting. Now, you add water to it, Keep the, bit, keep the moisture up in it, so when you go to it next time, it should be damp like a wet sponge. Uh, you don't want to overload your water in the compost bin. You don't want to keep it mushy. You want to add uh, the green materials and the brown material and keep your 50-50 mix so that you don't end up with any odors. Now, if you do detect an odor, add a little bit of brown material, add some water to it, stir and mix it up, and in 20 minutes or so, the odor will be gone. Most of the time, odors come from things like garlic, onions, leeks, uh, broccoli, things that have a strong odor to begin with. So in a scenario like that, instead of a 50-50 mix, you want to go a little bit heavier with the brown material until those odors have broken down uh, inside the compost bin. If you put fresh materials in, pull back the bedding material, you want to pull it back, put that material inside, and then cover it up. Things like fr fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, tend to attract things like mice and rats. And by burying the material, no odor gets out, and because there is no odor, you don't attract any of the vermin. When you open up your compost bin, you'll be pulling out brown, crumbly uh, material. This material is moisture absorbing. It acts like a sponge. It holds water. You want to put this then into your existing lawns, into your gardens, and into your planter beds. This material will yield up to 50% of the water it gets to plants, as opposed to heavy clay soil, which yields about 15% of the water it gets, and sandy soil, which yields only 10% of the water it gets. Now to get this material into your lawn, there's two ways to do it. One is to take a lawn spreader, spread, put the compost in it and spread it over the lawn and actually just use a topical application. The best way to do it is to aerate your lawn, put the compost on top, water it in and let it fill in the holes. Now the earthworms will come, they'll grab the compost, pull it out into the soil, they'll kick their castings and stuff up to the surface, fill in around the root zone of existing plants and get rid of your thatch. In so doing, uh, you've created an entire new ecosystem inside your lawn. The worms are helping aerate it. They open up the air zone and reduce the anaerobic bacteria, which gets rid of diseases. It also then holds moisture up to a week to 10 days. And it will cut your water bill by, by anywhere from 25 to 50 percent. Uh, if you want more information about the LA County Smart Gardening Program, please come to our website at www.smartgardening.com. We have permanent learning centers and information centers all around the county for the residents to come and visit. And you can also get a schedule of workshops to upcoming events where you can both get an education at the workshop and the tools to do the process. So please come visit us at the LA County Smart Gardening website.